coming up in Ms. Tastic. anytime hundreds of different art lessons directly to your home perfect for families and classrooms hi there I'm Ms. Artastic and today we're going to learn how to draw a person did you know that it takes 12 different muscles to smile that's true 12 muscles to smile well we're going to be drawing a person today one thing to know is that when we go to draw the face, a face of a person is visually divided into three parts. The first part is from the top of the hairline down to the eyebrows. This is the first part. The second part is from the eyebrows down to the bottom of the nose. See, equal part. And the third equal part is from the bottom of the nose down to the chin and that is the third part so we have three equal parts on our faces cool right so when you go to draw a face and you draw the face shape you can draw one line down the center and you can draw one line across the eye where the eyebrows will go and one line underneath the chin I'm sorry, underneath the nose to know where to place the bottom of the nose, where you place the eyebrows, the eyes will be in between, and then you'll put the mouth below the nose line, and you'll have the chin will be at the bottom. And that's how you can help place your different facial features on your person. So we're going to head on over to the art studio. We're going to draw a simple face of a person, and then we're going to make an artwork a person. So let's head on over to the art studio and let's make some art. All right, we're going to draw a really simple face. So I'm gonna draw with marker so you can see it, but you can use whatever you want to draw with. We're gonna draw almost the whole face, but I'm not gonna draw the top of the hair. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna add some dotted lines for where the head Top of the head will be so the top of the oval where the hair is going to be growing right and then we're going to draw the face shape below it would be just a nice simple u you can do it a more face shape that you're uh, more familiar with or maybe your own face shape and then we're going to go just to where the jaw is here and we're going to add two lines down before the neck comes down now, if we remember, a face is divided into thirds. So we're gonna have from the hairline, which is where this is ending, right? This is where my hairline will be. So we're gonna have hairline to eyebrow, eyebrow to bottom of nose, bottom of nose to chin. So we have to imagine that there is equal thirds. So I'm gonna draw in yellow. And I'm gonna add, here's my ruler here. add my line here to the top of the hairline. So now I'm going to add my forehead, so top of the hairline to my eyebrows. Eyebrows to bottom of my nose. Bottom of my nose to chin. Ooh, I think I have to bring this one down a little bit. divide our face up into thirds. Now I can't erase this, but it's for you to reference. So we're gonna add our ears. Now our ears are gonna be between these two lines. 
we're gonna take our mark maker and we're gonna draw a nice curvy line up and connect. And if you feel your own face, your neck is almost starting just around where your, just above, uh, sorry, just below your ears, right? It's very, very close. Okay, we can add another little curving line on the inside with another little curve. We can add some hatching lines to the dark. And now we have ears. We already have a pretty good face shape. Now we remember that this is our hairline here, so I'm gonna add just some zigzags for where my hairline is. Now remember this is our eyebrow line, so now we're going to imagine, let's add a line down the center here. Imagine this is the center of my face. You can always lightly add your own lines with pencil. Next, we're going to add some eyebrows. So we're gonna add whatever kind of eyebrows, wherever you want. I'm just using lines to build them up. But you can use, you can just draw a shape, whatever you want. I'm going to bring a line down. And again, I'm gonna bring my bottom of my nose down to that line down here, right? Bottom of the nose down there. Oops, I forgot to bring this line in. And we'll add some nostrils. Two little lines below. We'll add the upper lip. We'll add a curving line underneath. We'll add a lower lip. And then I'd like to add a little U in the corners for the dark. Now we need to add our eyes. So we add a slightly curved line and then a bigger curve above. Gonna add our eyelids, a little quarter in the eyes, the tear duct, and then we're gonna add our little U shape on the inside for our pupils. We'll add our white of the eye, and then we'll color around it for the darkest part of the pupil, just like that. You can add other things like jewelry, earrings, whatever you want. And then of course you're gonna give a choice hairstyle. And now you have a some person.
can even change the hair coming across maybe the uh, the neck and more textures so the hair whatever you want can it change appearance to make it make sense for whatever you're drawing and now you have a basic portrait, a simple person. All right, now let's draw, make or we'll make an artwork of a simple person. All right, let's make an artwork of a person. Okay, we're gonna draw our hairline and our face shape. Hello. We'll add our ears on either side, about halfway down. And we'll add our nose in the center with some nostrils on either side. We'll add our mouth. We'll add our eyebrows. And her eyes. You can make your eyes any style you want. I'm gonna add some eyelashes for this character and you can choose not to. I'm gonna add some little cheeks below. I'm gonna add my neck. I'm gonna add a, my shoulders. T-shirt with arms. If you have room, you can have your fingers showing out with her body going off the bottom. Can add your style of hair, however it looks, or however you want it to look. And look at that, we don't need to draw stick people, we can draw people with form, because we can just draw anything in the basic shape. All right, let's add some paint to it. First, I'm going to paint my background. So I'm gonna add some stripes. Now I'm using tempera paint to paint. Now if it's a little dry, I just add a bit of water to help it move across the paper a bit easier. Don't worry, if you get it on your person, that's why we're doing them the person last.
clothes. I'm going to paint the skin. I just add a little bit of water to my brush to make it a little smoother as I need it. I'm gonna do the hair next. Oh, I forgot my ears though. Oh, 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 oh. That's important. Don't wanna paint over them. There we go. I'm gonna add some water so we can see the texture beneath. cheeks and lips and just like that my person artwork is done well my friend that's it for this episode if you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel if you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and tag me at MizArtTastic or use the hashtag MizArtTastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic Kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.